Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers, and today we're starting a new series. As I've never played this scenario before, and I feel like it's time to do it. We're doing Escape from Mars, but it's not just me here. We have a friend. We have a buddy to help us through this. We have Andrew Man Gaming. That's me! Yeah! So <laughs> I'm excited. us too are going to try to uh, conquer this uh, scenario. We are in our crashed orange ship here with very meager supplies and uh, not too much oxygen remaining. So we're going to have to figure out uh, what to do. And uh, our first objective probably to uh, clean up the crash site a little bit, see what we have in stock. And then we have an ice mine that Mabel, the uh, the AI helping us, has given uh, us some coordinates to. And so we can go over there and uh, see what's there. And hopefully get some ice so that we don't, um, don't suffocate. <laughs> yeah. Should we, um, I, I've, I've just noticed our ship is in about a billion pieces. Should we, uh... Yeah, it know. is in a billion pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not great. I don't know how we survived, but I'll take it. Yeah. Um. So survive is done. Let's start thriving now. Yeah. So unfortunately, in this scenario, we actually can't build specific blocks. So stuff like this. Um. Well, we can't do the med bay. I was gonna say I wasn't sure if we could do med bay, but as far as I remember, we can't make survival kits. So no survival kits. Okay. This med bay is like our our serv like our savior. We, okay. We need yeah. to we need to baby it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we will that, set up many turrets. Yeah, we've got some instructions here on the wall. Uh, incoming incoming transmissions. Those shipments you asked me to check were not solar cells. Crates were packed with guns, like they're trying to start a war. Ooh, uh, interesting. Uh, auto log detaching from Jupiter tram course set to Mars friendly ship detected inhaling G Corp Kratos okay uh, a, a transmission that failed to send I'm going to Mars to talk to the CEO about what uh, weasel Bashkar was been up to I think we can trust him interesting Famous and then words registering at friendly fire transmitting codes no response attempting a landing and then i guess we hit the ground after that so we've yeah, that, got a guy out there well. that we can maybe go find a uh, bash car and uh bash car whatever g corp kratos is okay yeah it looks it sounds like we've got our work cut out for us yeah, loading survival guide recommended searching cargo and disassembling hull for, for rover parts and the recommended configuration of six wheels with various friction settings and such. And uh, yeah, I think the first so thing they, would be uh, what do we have here? 
We have some cargo containers, a tools locker. What do we got? Oh, hey, some good Ooh. tools. Oh, these are good. Dang, okay. Yeah, some um, two chevron tools, which is nice. Yeah. And f uh, um, a little bit of resources in these other cargo containers, like some steel plates and power cells, which would be good to getting a, uh, a hydrogen engine or something on that rover to power it. I'm seeing some uranium in there, too. Mm -hmm. That's quite nice. Yeah, a couple guns. What about this one? Ooh, okay. You want the fancy one? Uh, I can just take a basic one. And then I'll... Um, All right, I'll go ahead and take the fancy one. Let me just break that ammo in half, and I'll take half of it. Thank you. And we do have some Gatling for if we ever make a turret. We got $42. <laughs> We're space rich. Oh, we've got to protect our med bay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excellent. Um, so emergency supplies and uh, spare parts storage have done us pretty well. Um, I don't know. Where should we start? Should we start by deconstructing some stuff that we find lying around? Or should we just immediately, like, try to build what Mabel's telling us to build here? This, this rover thing. <laughs> Well, I think we should just search what is in these wreckages, because I do see a few cargo containers. So... Oh, do you? Okay, that's a good eye. Yeah, yeah. Like, look out here. There's, like, a, a small cargo container here. Uh, oh, yeah. Got a uh, radio component in it. So there might be some useful stuff. So I think... Spread out and... Uh, spread out! <laughs> find the materials. Okay, I've got more ammo here immediately. We didn't need to make that split. We've got 40 over here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let me go over here. I, I totally forgot to grind up the stuff I've been passing. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We got lots of time to do this. <laughs> oh, there's a damaged turret over here. Oh, I'm hacking it. Oh, okay. <laughs> do, do you see that on your screen? I see that. I'm coming over to check it out. Hack it's in progress. Uh, you know what you're doing, right? Basic weapon technology unlocked. Hey! Okay. Weapon. So we got block weapons, and now we got some weapons we can build. All right. I guess you like learned that. Did you just like? I just it stood beside it. it I guess there's. Uh, if we find something new, we unlock it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I actually really like that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to continue my path of destruction over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, how is your uh, oxygen? My oxygen? Oh, thank you for asking. Uh, it's 44. There you go. Oh, thank there you. Was, there was one bottle in there, so I think we're going to have to play hot potato with it for a while. Okay, we're buddy breathing? Yep. I think, I think it'll do. Um. We may have to uh, very quickly head over to the... Oh! I <laughs> ground down the cargo container, and the contents, which was uh, some gold, spawned underneath the voxel and started falling towards the center of the earth. <laughs> yep, before you said it, I already knew what happened. And I was able to grab it in time. <laughs> oh, good catch. Yeah. Got one more. In one which more case, thing out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this yoink. silly cargo container, I kind of feel like I should build up so that it doesn't fall through and I can take the item out. <laughs> That's a good call. And I'm going to make a, a better... I'm going to fix up the uh, the dropship a little bit so we can get in and out of it. Okay, yeah, good a idea. A little bit easier here. Make it look a little nicer, too. Am I just wasting steel plates, or is it important to have a nice home? <laughs> ah. You can... You can put on some steel plates. It's all good. Yeah, and actually, we'll just I guess... Go for a ramp in there like this. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Now we can get inside. I found a... Oh, no. I found a passenger seat. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> it's half in the ground, though. I just tempted Clang there. I almost probably phased through the earth. <laughs> Getting into it? Can you yeah. see the void? I can, yeah. I looked into the void and it looked right oh, back. Oh, God! It's the inside <laughs> of the planet! There's scary stuff down there. Yeah, um, does it have anything in its uh, inventory? It's got some ice! Oh, good call. I didn't even check. Oh, we can breathe now! I'll go put it into the yeah. uh, O2H2. Okay. Um, I, I think I'll stick this oxygen tank back in there, too. In which case, now our... Yeah, our med bay gives us oxygen now. 
Okay, we won't die. Ah, oh, not today. Nice. Not today. <laughs> That's good. I was afraid for a second. But, yeah, it's looking good. 100% all stats. Mm-hmm. Alright, we've now got probably a surplus of steel plates, if I had to guess. Yeah, but I'm certain we're going to go through them, because we do need to build some sort of a rover here. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we got what the... do they recommend? They recommend six wheels. That's a bit... Uh, that's a bit liberal with the wheels, isn't it? Well, this was from a uh, Space Engineers, like, a, a while ago. You know, like, it was an early version of the game. Maybe the uh, physics has calmed down since. This is Space Engineers. <laughs> uh, true, but... Uh, Clang knows me. He he likes me. I give him sacrifices. Good. So uh... <laughs> I have given him sacrifices. I don't know that they have helped that much for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, weekly, weekly Clang sacrifice is a requirement. Yep. Uh, and I think we can take these panels off, right? That gives us some computers. Um, Or do yes. we want to keep them up there? At least a screenshot <laughs> of what they say would be uh, would be probably helpful. All right. Registering friendly fire. I mean, okay, so that one's not needed. I don't think this has any other intel. There's no coordinates or anything, so yeah, we're probably right, good to. Screenshots taken. Screenshots taken. We are safe. Yep, we've written down. We've taken some notes. Yeah. And we can uh, start thinking about what we want to do. We want to build our little rover. I'm thinking a rover. Yeah, I mean, we could trek it to the ice corp over there, but we probably want to go in style. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's just pop down a landing gear. There you and go. Okay. And a couple blocks up. And then we can start building from there. Alright, uh, okay. So what do you think? Three wide? Before the wheels? Um, Three wide. I love it. Because then that'll give us uh, about uh, five wide with the wheels on it and such. Yeah. And Maybe we uh, go do... I don't, know, I don't know how you build your overs. Do we go down a little bit, maybe? Like that for them? Oh, sure. That would give us a little bit more uh, clearance. Oh, that's going to give us a huge rover, though, at that point. <laughs> but, I mean, you uh, could just, yeah, clearance is nice. You could just do it there. Ooh, good point. Innovation. <laughs> okay, so I have been criticized in the past for making rovers too short. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, at the risk of overcorrecting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too, too much? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much. <laughs> Maybe for our first rover a little bit. Oh no. The sun. It is setting. The sun? Oh, 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 the shadow. The shadow is right here and it's getting closer. Yeah, it's gonna get you. <laughs> um We don't need solar panels, right? Are we are we good? I think we're uh, fine. Yeah, we should be we okay. We have flashlights? Okay. I was panicking for a second there. Uh, so Even when we long, build the battery, it's going to have a little bit of initial charge. Yeah. It'll be fine. Plus, so we have uranium in there. I'm thinking a couple rover cockpits. Okay, I like it. Uh, Are we going to do the six-wheel thing that uh, was recommended by Mabel? Oh, sure. Okay. It's looking good. It is looking good. Two wheels in the back. Look at this. So our, all the weight that goes back here, the wheels have got Yeah, because we're going to fill up these car containers and we might even um, change them to like large in the future. Uh, and we can support it because of this genius, might I say, two wheel structure. Mm, absolutely genius. Structure. Yeah, Mabel had us covered, I think. Mm hmm. <laughs> can you imagine how bad this would be if we had to play this with like all scrap? Do we, do Wait, you what know does that scrap do? I don't think I've ever used it. Oh! Oh, man. I play with that far too much. It makes it so that when you grind something down, you don't get components. You get scrap metal. 
You have to refine it. What? And so, basically... That is torture. Uh, I know! It, it's fun! <laughs> <laughs> I, I use it all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can, I can see the comments already. Before the year is done, I'm going to be forced to do a series with this. You did this to me. It's really fun in, like, um, salvaging things, because it forces you... Oh, I can't just grind that down and get the components and rebuild it. I have to um, salvage it and, like, attach yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Do we actually even have enough? I wonder if we even have enough power cells to build this battery. Because we, if um, I put them in I here, have some, I think. it becomes scrap metal if I grind them out. So oh, I actually I, don't have any power cells. Yeah, I grabbed all of them from the, the, the station. We have eight. So we might not be able to make these large batteries eight right power away. Cells. Uh, um, let me, let's, let's uh, look oh, around. Oh, we can't make hydrogen engines yet. Hmm, okay. So, uh, do you think the, the solar panels were necessary? <laughs> uh, that, or we can just put a couple small batteries on here. That could work, yeah. Yeah, I don't have hydrogen engines, and it's something we'll have to find, because it's, it's not, doesn't even have a prerequisite in the progression tree. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah, if you look at it in the progression tree, the prerequisite has been removed because of this mod pack. So, I think we'll just have to do a small battery. Just, because oh, wow. okay. that's only yeah. two power cells. And it would be just enough small battery that we can uh, get there. And then we can build yeah. the large batteries later. Well, they're being they're being mean to us. They're, they're giving us four small batteries and that is it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, well, I guess that I throw on small batteries. There. Yep. Maybe Throw fill up this gap batteries. between the batteries, or do you want to... I think that's a perfect gap size for some batteries. Yeah, I have this armor here, but I'll just take it out and put the few batteries in there. Okay. Okay. We have one seat mill built. Okay, we technically only need one. Technically, but we only need... We need 19 more computers. Um, do I have computers on me? I have 12. So we need 17 or seven. Uh, there were six from that display, and I got uh, I got a bunch of displays on me. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of. I think that sound block has a computer in it. Yeah, it's three computers. Okay, good. Oh, nice. Who needs sounds anyway? We got. Uh, we have a rover that can drive. So I'll cut it off uh, its uh, yes. foundations here. Yep, good idea. And you know, it could use a little bit on the looks department, but I, you know, maybe that's yeah, a later thing. I think that's a later thing. Okay. All okay. right, I'll get into the passenger seat. <laughs> that's my hardest challenge there, trying to get it. Okay, I'm gonna let you drive. No, no, you can uh, drive. You're, you're the driver. I, I will warn you, the. Um, pink's a little weird when it comes to fine movements. <laughs> oh, okay, then maybe I should try. Um, Alright, on the way. Let's not remember where our crashed ship is here. It has some valuable stuff in it. Oh yeah, I got a waypoint for it. Okay, cool. Toward <laughs> the sun! I see, <laughs> I see it over there. I, I like that your uh, headlamp is giving us headlights. <laughs> yeah, that is the budget headlight option. Yep. Here, I'll turn mine on, too. I'll just, uh... <laughs> oh god, I'm standing on you. Uh, Get off me! Whoop, there we go. Hey, there we go. Double headlights. Double headlights. Um, oh, okay. The terrain is, uh... uh challenging. G-Corp Air Base. G-Corp Air Base? What? That sounds cool. Ten kilometers away. I don't see that one. Uh, it's towards the mountain. The one that's still got the light on it. Yeah, I see. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay, it just popped in. Airbase. Wow, it's actually kind of up high, too. Do you think it's, like, an airbase, like, in the air? Uh, well, I think it's just up on that cliff there. Oh. Oh, wait. Actually, that makes sense. I thought the Iceman was behind the mountain. Oh, is this one of the spinning ones? Oh, I hate uh, these things. 
How do you approach Cease! This? Cease, you're spinning. You just gotta press spam F to like you can. Ah! Thanks, okay. Mabel. I got the special content power up. No, I was got it turned off. Wait, oh, it was turned off for you? No, I almost got it turned off. Oh! Okay. Jeez, knocked me into the air <laughs> and I almost died. Here, I'll stop it, I'll stop it. How do you turn it off? Do you just like press a button? Yeah, you, you gotta get one of the buttons. All right, all right, okay. We're, we're, we're not messing around anymore. Stay. Is this cheating? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grind you down. Stupid there you go. thing with gyro being on override. Come on. Okay, we got the sound block. There uh, we go. Wait, no, nope, the gyro. Go. Ah, the Bucking okay. Bronco's done. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, data or space credits here. Motors. I literally almost died. I'm at 11 health. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I mean, we could stop by the base again. Yeah, we'll just pop home and I'll heal up real quick. Man, I was <laughs> so I was trying to get it, and then I stepped on it, and it spun, and it threw me <laughs> into the air, like fifty meters into the air, and I just went kerplunk. Whoa. Oh, right, right, no gyro. Oh. <laughs> I forgot no gyro on this thing. Well, we did just deconstruct a gyro. <laughs> yes. Okay, we should add that. <laughs> we should probably, yeah, I think that'd be a good addition. Um, how to flip. One gyro we'll probably won't do it, right? Uh, maybe. We'll see. I'll just throw it right there for now. Yeah, that works. Oh, impressive! Whoa, well, hang on. Okay. Okay, no need to show off there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just going on two wheels. Yeah, the overrides are always stronger than uh, manually controlling it. Ooh, good to know. Okay. All right, we got our kitted out rover now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With these manual headlights still. Yeah, so what's the best way to do it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, ship, welcome back. I guess Mabel's here. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to do to this uh, one last thing to this rover is turn the brakes on the front off. Oh, good call. Good call. Um, I'm going to do something equally as important. Let's do this. That way there's less of a chance of the thing like bucking and rolling on us. Oh! Oh, I just died. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, I think... How do I resuscitate you? Oh, I just respond. There's a new clone. <laughs> I think it's because I accidentally pressed J and opened my helmet with like only 11 health and I just instantly suffocated. <laughs> it's a harsh world. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> death number one. <laughs> <laughs> I made some important modifications to the front of the rover. There we go. Nice. Yeah. It's necessary. You know those bugs that have like their eyes on their back so that when things attack it, it like attacks their like back instead of their head? That's what I just yes. did for the rover. It won't attack us, it'll attack the rover. It's gonna save our lives. You'll thank me one day. Alright. So I've got my my gun, lots of ammo, and uh, some tools. Okay, I've got my gun as well. Let me know if you need more ammo. I've got uh forty nine uh, I've got 17 mags, so I should be good. Okay. I've got, like, the long-range gun as well. And we can head off to, uh, the ice mine. Off we go. Into the wild orange yonder? <laughs> I'm going to park hill. the rover in a safe space, because I don't have no idea what's going to happen here. That is fair. I don't want our little rover to get destroyed, because... This is our only rover. We definitely don't have the materials to repair it. 
Did we use... Yeah, we used all the batteries. We have no more batteries if this goes wrong. Mm-hmm. All right. There's the ice mine. Okay. Let's, uh, let's disembark. Weapons out. Stay frosty. Breach and glare. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of grids. <laughs> yeah, I see large hydrogen tanks. Uh, couple entrance, like, markers on Ooh, the side here. Yeah. Oh. Computers around the mine. Be cautious of G Corp security turrets. Uh, okay. all right. There's gonna be turrets. Thanks, Mabel. Enemy turrets. I see a red sign. Yeah, let's go see what, what the sign here. says. Let's see what the sign says. No entry. Mine is shut down until further notice. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing the security turrets would be... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just heard oh, a noise. A, yeah, there was a sensor there. Mm-hmm. It, it sensed me. Oh! Oh! Ah! Get out! Back up! <laughs> okay, um... It came up on a piston or something. That was really cool, but really scary. It's just behind this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna peek up a little bit and... Oh, I wonder. Let's see. Can it aim up? Can making moves? Oh, I don't think I can aim up. Good call. Yeah, jump on it. Oh, it can't shoot me from... Yeah, I don't think it can shoot me from up here. Oh, nice! Hex! Uh, I think it's just yeah. to cover people when they're walking in the entrance there. <laughs> Good call. So then, um... Oh, I can... We should be able to, like... Oh! 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 Run, 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 run! Run in I a circle! Up. I messed up! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going up there? You still alive? Yep. Okay. Did you get hit? I sh should have brought the brown pants. <laughs> um, let me get... Okay. I did get hit, yeah, a lot of times. A lot okay. of times. <laughs> well, I'll try now. <laughs> Alright, we're... Okay. Uh. Oh, I missed two! Oh. I missed two! No. Ah! Ah! No. <laughs> okay, this isn't working. I meant one health. I gave you covering fire. You have one... I think I'm just gonna shoot his turret. Okay. It's on? There, it's yep. gun's gone. There we go. <laughs> Why did we do that in the beginning? I, it, oh, I, I have no clue. It just seemed like the right thing to do. But in hindsight... Oh, our reputation's dropping. Well, I mean, we're grinding up their turrets. Of course our reputation's It shot at us! Before. I think that's warranted. Ooh, is this heavy armor? We're getting grids. Ooh, nice. We can use those cargo containers that you added. Yeah! I don't want to crossfire my uh, my grinder with you, because you have one HP. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll heal a little bit. <laughs> oh. Let Whoa. me, um... Did you fall in? <laughs> yeah, I fell in the hole. <laughs> oh my god. There's more stuff down here. Uh, okay. I'll... I guess I'll come in, too. I think the number one rule of safety is Ooh. don't go in the hole if someone else goes in the hole, but it's fine. Timer block. Nice. That's computers. Ooh, okay. I like it. Uh, it's... Inventory full. Oh, inventory's full. I can't wait till you get, like, a... S we need to find a sur survival kit to salvage it. Put it on this rover. This, this base, this um little outpost thing here with the turret has to have a battery somewhere inside of it because there's light. Oh yeah, there it is. There's a battery. Ugh, but it's power cells scrap to scrap metal. So we, we'd have to like dig it out of here if we wanted to keep it. Yeah, it's on static grid. I don't know if the, I mean, we could always come over here, put like a little connector and like try and get it to go to a ship or something yeah we could always siphon it instead of taking it with us yeah here okay. let's, let's just bring like uh bring like a block of this up i'll remove this blast door because i think it's attached to um this grid here yeah because this is where the signs are that are lit up so it's attached to this grid oh okay yeah so, so we then just we can to just siphon off this later Literally just put a connector on where this LCD panel is and put a connector right there and plug in later. And yeah. 
siphon all the power. Okay. We just have to remember that it's here. Yeah. Um, is there... Okay, yeah, there's more to this uh, place. Oh, yeah, I think I think more we're just getting started. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm on 29 oxygen. Oh, right. Uh, I'm gonna, did we not bring that oxygen bottle? We had one bottle that we're going to buddy breathe on. You know, I might have dropped it off at the base. <laughs> you want to go quick trip back, heal up, and get the oxygen bottle? We can make... Maybe a quick trip. All right. Well, it's not far. There? It's oh, only like 1.7k away. Yeah. Okay. One medium cargo container doesn't last very long. <laughs> yeah. We're actually ready to go into the ice mine on our third attempt. <laughs> third attempt. It's okay. Third time's the charm. Yeah. The first time we were testing out their defenses. Getting a little risky with it. <laughs> All right. Oh, what is in here? Some goodies? Scrap maybe? metal. Scrap metal. Okay, we'll come back for that. So, oh yeah, right, we have grinders. I was like, you're going to have to use your power of telekinesis. This is a solar panel, but it's got no solar cells in it, which sucks. Oh, just some steel plates. This one we have to remove. Yeah, Does it have anything in it? Medium cargo containers. Doesn't look, look like it. Okay. Uh. Oh, could we not get through that? No. It's very deceiving. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about like a little bit of a sneak. Yeah, curve. there's still nope, lights okay. on in here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just be really careful, considering how the last one snuck up on us. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like this. Is there anything in the chair? <laughs> really careful. I just immediately sit in the chair. Uh, I didn't check actually. Let's see. <gasps> There's a drill. Oh! That's amazing! I'm now equipped with a one chevron drill. That'll allow us to drill out some ice and such. Yes, that is This is, is supposed exactly to be need. a mine, so I'm guessing the... Uh, somewhere along here... Oh, full cargo containers! Look at this! Like, intact! Ooh. There should be an elevator here. Strange. They an elevator? An elevator? But we can Another grind these down and throw them into, throw them onto you want, the, uh, <laughs> You want a drill? Rover. Look in there. Hmm? Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, just drills galore. Do you want the two chevron one? I, I'll, I'll stick with the one chevron. All right. You can have the two. I'll go ahead and yoink one of these, uh, or, or these one, or zero chevron ones too, just in case we uh, run out. And this one just has scrap metal in it, so I'll just grind it down. Oh, okay. the scrap metal spawned and fell into the center of the earth. <laughs> That's how it be sometimes. I have calculated the ah. optimal method to acquire resources is by intercepting G-Corp cargo transports. However, be aware that they may increase security if too many of their shipments go missing. She wants us to... Be a pirate, essentially. Um. It's. It okay? I just said that's dispatched. Does that mean dispatched to our location to fight us, or dispatched like they're just gonna fly by and we have the option to like attack them? If oh, we look! Wish? Look up at the airbase. There's a metal oh, yeah. grid shipment with it as well. So oh, I'm guessing sweet. that's gonna fly over us. Uh. I don't know that we have the equipment to do anything about that. <laughs> Not yet. In the future, we could. Not at this time. So I'm thinking if we do a junction. Oh, here. Let's, let's, uh, oh, whoops. And then can we put con containers off the side of that? Is that? Oh, a, a big junction? Well, yeah, because the, oh, to right. transfer the Actually, material. That's a... Yeah, I always forget that the large and small connections are different. Okay, yeah, I like it. And then a connector on the back? Yeah. Something like that? That looks awesome. Sweet. Well, we can just... Let's see if I can... Build up as many of these as we can. 
And this then we can get the, the connectors in the middle when we get and get to them. Oh, we've got the connector. Or we've got the, uh, yeah, the connector. All right, so we need more con computers for that. And then we need to get the conveyors in the middle eventually. Let me see if I can do anything about those conveyors. Okay. Well, we'll we can also, out. in the future, use these small parts on the top and maybe put some engines and hydrogen tanks up here. Ooh, so that okay. this thing can run on ice. I like it. We well, have to we find uh, hydrogen ice. technology. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I feel like we're in the right spot for that. Yeah. All right. Dropping off everything extra. And uh, yeah. uh, I'm just going to grab a little bit of well. power from the the rover here. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So she said there was an elevator in here. Which, um... Hmm, I wonder where it is. <laughs> Could be under these suspicious, uh, suspiciously placed indoor solar, solar panels. panels. Oh, indoor God. Yep. solar panels. There is a hole here. Okay. Uh, it's, we do have jetpacks. Mm hmm. All right, I'm going down. <laughs> Guns out. It's a light here. Watch for sensors. Yes. Oh, there's one oh. down there. It's on the you left. See a sensor? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. This mine is now closed. All employees. This mine is now closed. All employees proceed to the exit. Security systems are active and corporate. This mine is now closed. All employees <laughs> right. proceed to the exit. I understand. Security systems now you can are shut up. It's a very important message. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, look at this place. This is amazing. Yeah. A very nice, a very nice mine. Uh, oh, look at all the ice. ice. Yeah, that's a nice Whoa, amount of ice. Oh, it goes way deep. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's incredible. Um, oh. Well, <laughs> do we go down or do we go... Uh. What do you want to do first? Do you want to go down into the depths or go down this tunnel here first? Let's save the best for last. Let's go down the tunnel and then we'll come come back to the, the depths because the depths look really cool. All right. We'll just take a glance at what's over here. Just yep. a peek. Check your corner. Ah, uh, I checked the corner. There's a there's a deadly thing. Oh, there's a deadly thing? Oh, deadly I see thing. that. Yeah, scary. Is that red thing in the distance? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, recognize yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Uh, so do we... It might be friendly. Look, it's not shooting. Yeah, want to go say hi? Go ahead. You go ahead and say hi if you want. <laughs> hey. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, it shot first. We now have the moral ability to shoot back. All right. Wait, it doesn't... It doesn't shoot at us. Look, look, I'm all the way out here. I'm fine. It doesn't shoot at us unless we're close. Oh! Nice shot. It's the entire thing exploded. Yeah. Well, I want to kind of salvage that. <laughs> oh, we got cargo containers here. Oh, okay. Here Here's some extra tools. Oh, some more ice. ice and more tools. Awesome. I'll take those. And also just I the cargo it container well. itself. Let's get that. Uh, what do we have? There's glass. This looks like a little, uh, this is a control station. Yeah, look at thing. this. There's timer blocks and uh, all sorts of there, stuff here. There is a... Uh, I don't see any turrets oh, or anything. Sound block. Um, yeah, there's something down there. Yeah, this I don't see crap. any turrets. It's just like a, it's like a suspicious control oh, panel right here. this sensor just picked us up. Oh, wait, we're hacking. Oh, hacking, cool. What are you hacking? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hacking. Maybe... I have, I have no clue. Search Timer block. Data files. Gas storage technology unlocked. Ooh. <gasps> Wait. Storage hey, thing. We can make hydrogen, hydrogen engines. engines. And Ooh. gas tanks. Nice. Okay. Now nice. we can now make a. We can turn our car into a real sounding car. Oh, we're living now. Yeah. We got vents just in case we need to vent. We've got. There's something here. Ooh. Uh, like a... I don't even know what this is. Hmm? Oh, like there little... is something there! 
Yeah. What? Like a little message. Oh, let's open that up. Uh, got Alston. Arrange the meeting for the evening when the other miners are home. If the foreman gives me tro gives you trouble, we left you something under your chair to deal with him. The automation initiative must go ahead. HQ. What? <laughs> Under your Something chair. Under your chair. Look, there's a cargo container under this chair. Oh. And it's a it's oh a my. gun and ammo. <laughs> that is, I think that's a straight upgrade from what you have. Uh, yeah, I just have the basic gun. This is the rapid fire one. Yeah, um, I've got the I've got the deadly one. You got the precise one, and I've got the rapid fire. Yeah, so we're the set sniper, for any and situation. I'm the gunner. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um. Car container nice. access denied. Oh, we just hacked it. Just grind it down, build them up. It's ours now. Oh, good call. Oxygen bottles. More oxygen bottles. One for it's each Christmas. Of us. Yeah. Well, I've, now I've got two. <laughs> and then 400 silicon. Okay. And plus, we can just grind this stuff down and get all these computers and such out of the. Nice. That is a good find. Yeah. Nice. I don't think there's anything else here except maybe this bulletproof glass. Oh yeah, that's some good uh, good stuff. The rest of it's probably just steel. All right, dare we descend? Well, I think we dare. We dare. All right. Um, we'll descend slowly. Using the uh, provided path. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of, like, machine gun in here, right? Some sort of turret. Oh, of course, there has to be. They didn't have I'm turrets in other locations just for show. Well, we yeah, got I'm just wondering where it's going right to be. Oh, Ooh, 24 okay. explosives. What? I mean, that, I mean, that checks out. <laughs> That's a mine, after all. Yeah. That takes out my explosives. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Gatling ammo convoy. Heading out. Uh, we don't need that yet. <laughs> One day. Oh, there's another. <gasps> there's a cool thing down, down here. There. There's a cool thing. Oh, it's a rover. Whoa. Oh, hello. Where from? <laughs> I have no idea. I just heard explosions. It wasn't at me. Oh, maybe it was. Wait, where from? Hang on. Is it that? I think it's over here. I'm going to investigate. I don't think it's shooting at me, though. Uh, is there someone else in here? Oh, it's right there. I don't even see it. To your right a little oh. bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, as the sharpshooter, I'm just going to... You want to take a couple whacks at it? Yeah, let's see what I can do. Ah! <laughs> nice. I weakened it for you. <laughs> Let it be yeah. known. Nice large cargo here, too. Oh, weapons. Something tells me they were doing more than just mining down here. I'm going to yoink those ammo. Uh, I'll do ice. Whoa! Okay, I'm full on ice. What is this? Some kind of loader or like pallet oh, yeah. or something like that, I guess. Yeah, this must go on the little uh, little vehicle down there. How's it looking over there? Safe? Whoa, it's another whole big room. Ooh. Oh, a little car as well. Oh, this is awesome. That's like a little miner. Uh, I'm just looking out. Cause I'm, uh, turret, turret. On the right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I knew there'd be something. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to do a little, little, bit of a, little bit of a peek. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a bop. A little bop. It didn't shoot back. Did it not? No, it's just chilling. It's moving around. Oh, there it goes. Oh! You're dead! 
Oh no! <laughs> One shot! Uh, alrighty then. I'll, I'll be back momentarily. Oh, you're all the way back at the crash site, aren't you? <laughs> I'm starting the long trek. <laughs> you do have a jetpack, although you just have I, limited fuel. I do have a jetpack. And we're rocking more than 100 speed. I'm gonna shoot out the block that it's uh, sitting on top of. <laughs> nice, that's a good call. Actually, wait, it's connected to a battery by a cable of interior turrets, like interior pillars. Mm -hmm. I can take out one of the pillars and it loses power. Oh, I'm so smart. Nicely done. I'm a smart cookie. Can I make you? I can make you, okay. So I don't need to salvage this turret. Oh, there you are. Hey, welcome back. Hello. Oh, what happened to this guy? We got a new clone here. <laughs> a new clone. Yeah. New clone who this? <laughs> uh, okay, I, I see you've dealt with the threat. Good job. Yep, threat has been neutralized. Hmm. What if this... I don't know, I, I'm afraid this is going to explode. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh, check it out! Wow. It... It hasn't exploded yet. <laughs> Anything back here? Ooh, I have found... What is A programmable block? Mm-hmm. I've got no inventory space. Well, that's because you're full of ice. Yeah, I am. Ooh, I like that cockpit mod. That's cool. Yeah, the animated cockpits. I love it. That's. I didn't mean to put all the ice down. <laughs> that's all right. Drop it. Yeah, there's a programmable block back here. Uh, what about over here? There we go. I've got 2K ice with me. Some H02 gens. Oh, I'm hacking. What are you hacking? I, sta I stood like by hacker. this programmable block and started hacking. Oh, cool. Searching G-Corp data files. Oxygen generator technology unlocked. Yay! That's going to come in handy. Now we can make H2 H2O2s. I would say that's uh, that's required <laughs> on this planet. Yeah. Awesome! And there's a whole bunch of components in these, uh, these ones here. Like, there's an absolutely full one right here. Component? Like ice? Ooh, yeah, but the oxygen generator. And, uh, can we use it? Can we turn it on? Uh... Don't think it's connected to any battery. Yeah, yeah that's it probably not connected. Isn't. This battery but over here exists, but it's probably a different grid. We can grind it down and uh, take its bits. And build one. Yeah. And build one at Good home. Call. What is Think this? all these conveyors and such. Oh yeah, that's conveyors are good components. Now I wish we could just like uh, unearth this and <laughs> have like a little mining rover. Well, why not? I guess we can. We'd need to put a battery on it, though. We also have to drive it out of here. Uh... Yeah, that... Yeah, okay. On second thought, maybe we don't need the mining rover. <laughs> Although, we can steal the patent and make it ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. copy a little screenshot of that. Or just... Oh, I don't have permission to blueprint this ship. <laughs> Okay, we can recreate these. it better than they can. We have the technology. Yeah. Is there anything inside here? No. What about inside this one? No. Oh, that one. Yep. No, there's nothing inside any of these, from what I've seen. Yeah, they're they're all empty. Yeah. Well, I'll take their bits anyway. I think I have more drills than I know what to do with at this point. Oh, here's a big drill. Okay. 
yeah, we can use the, we can take that back and make a little rover to drill up ice here. I'm rebuilding the antenna. Oh, you've learned new blocks. Yay. Oh, I got low energy. Uh, do I get energy from this thing? Oh, I don't. Energy that's that's got no battery. Ah, uh, I'm running out of energy. Okay, I need power. Besides, my inventory is full. I'm going to go deposit. What we can do is we can put a H2O2 gen or hydrogen tank and stuff like that on the ship. I think that's a good idea. I mean, in the future, hopefully, we can get a uh, survival kit on here. That would be nice. I don't know where we'd put it, though. Yeah, I don't know either. Unless we make like a skyscraper rover. <laughs> but we can put like uh, uh, engines or something on the top here and refuel tanks and just have that as a power source as well. If we can't get our batteries loaded up with power cells. Because that's one thing, we haven't found any power cells. Yeah, that we need to. Uh, that, or we need to try to make an assembler and see if we can make power cells out of it. Because I, I believe that they even went as far as, like, the assembler can only build some blocks and not all of them. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, well, for the engines, we could do something like that. And then that. Yeah. And then, then have, like, a, a block. And then just a real simple. I don't know how many engines we need, though. That might be overkill. Uh, well, how much do they make here? They get 500 kilowatts each. And 500 kilowatts? A wheel is uh, 200 kilowatts. So... Okay, it's not overkill. <laughs> yeah, so each engine generator. covers two and a bit wheels. So if we have three engines, we have more than enough. But with four, it would be nice and balanced looking. Okay. And then we could have our O2H2 generator. Z. Well, I mean, we could just stick one. We can just literally stick one, flip it up and over, and just put it right here, because it would be uh, connecting into those small grids. How many O2H2 do you think we need for this setup? Because we could always double it up, like bam, bam. Oh, two. true, yeah. And that's connecting in there. But we can also just have some, uh, some tanks, so that we have uh, storage because uh, we've got yeah. all of these uh, so we need to have a small conveyor there. Do we have an interior plate on us? Uh, we do. Excellent. Um, yeah, I've got some as well. So we can put us we have to put a small conveyor here just to make that fit but then in between we can put uh, a couple tanks like this. Yeah, okay. So then we, I like that. It's all, it's compact. Realistically, it's, it's that should work in terms of getting us a, a mobile hydrogen power system. Yeah. And this the O2H2 will directly pull from our cargo containers. So yeah, this gonna be good. Yeah, this is filling up with ice. And this one is. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna oh, manually put ice in this one. Uh oh. They're really going to tell us about every convoy, aren't they? Uh, yeah, because if there's a convoy that we need, like, uh, power cells, we, we want to hit it. Good point, yeah. That's a good point. I would love a, pow a power cell convoy at this point. Alright, so now these small hydrogen tanks... Large steel tubes, small steel tubes... Are filling up! A power cell. Are they? Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. And I'm topping up my bottles. Might as well. Oh, and these need power cells. So that's another thing. We have to find power cells to be able to build the engines. Yeah. All right, mine explored. Materials gathered. All right. We mostly survived. Welcome home. Yeah, we did it. We s almost said we survived. 
Oh, wait. Well, we technically survived. survived. You died. <laughs> we, meaning you, survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. <laughs> Gotta unload now. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, great. The vehicle's empty. Let's see, how full is this guy? Oh, that is completely full. Mm -hmm. How full is this guy? Not full at all. Awesome. So now, the question is, are we going to continue living out of this crash ship for much longer? Or do you think oh. that we should try to build a, a base somewhere? Because we do have the ability to, uh, with this med bay. Oh yeah, we can destroy we, this. And... We do have the ability to move the medical room. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just feel like this location holds a lot of traumatic memories for me. Yeah. We did crash here after all. Um, maybe we want to relocate. Although the sunrise is beautiful. <laughs> now the question is, where do we want to re relocate to? So I'm just wondering if we want to be, uh, obviously the ice mine is something that we will come back to because we're going to need oxygen. And if we run stuff off hydrogen, we'll need it. But yeah. well, I'm, I'm, it's ores down here. I wonder See if that? we should move to a base that is a little bit closer to the plains over there because then we yeah. can drive over there easier. I think that's a good idea. Well, what we could do, it's a crazy idea, is we could have like a a garage right here, right where I'm standing, because this is relatively flat. And then you could just like drive out of the garage and then right down the hill, gathering up speed to hit the planes at speed to intercept something. <laughs> I like it. That sounds like a plan. We've got ores here. We've got rock there. Mm -hmm. We've got planes above. You know, yeah. we need like a, we need like an airport. If we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna fight planes with planes. Oh right! If we're gonna fly planes, we need a little bit of wider space to be able to land them. I mean, we could build a runway. Um, yeah. With <laughs> another crazy idea is we could literally build from like one of these ridge lines to the ridge line next to it, just a flat. Like make that the oh, roof. Like a big bridge. Yeah, oh, and then be... use that as a runway. Oh, that'd be massive. And it's just an idea. I like it, though. That's a cool or idea. Or we can just... If we go to the bottom of this hill... Down in the plains... Like, there's this, this ore patch right over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I, I flew too fast, and I got a heat level warning from aerodynamic mod. Um, excuse me? <laughs> I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, somewhere down here in the plains, we can easily land stuff down here. We just build down here. So a big thing would be what power can we do over there? Well, we if it's do flat have like that, we solar. can do solar. We can do wind. We, we do have do hydrogen. Yeah, but we need the power cells for that. We could oh, right. conceivably do a reactor. Just throw a small we could reactor. do a reactor, yeah. We do have a tiny bit of uranium, but that's just a very temporary form of power. Yeah, we could um, make a flatbed truck, load this let's, battery on it. Let's. Oh, we could we could actually slice the batteries off and take them with us. Yeah, that is concealed. Might, might be a bit of a headache, but it is an option. It's an option. It's doable. Um, let's try to build an assembler and see what we can actually make. And eh, done. Assembler made. All right. So it's now let's see what we can build with the assembler. Oh, cool. We can build all sorts of parts. Let's see. Production. Uh, this looks like all of the parts. Yeah. Nice. But so some power cells, maybe. We do not have the ability to refine anything. So if we want stuff, we have to deconstruct to get the materials. Oh. Okay. to be able to refine. So power cells, we got uh, iron, silicon, nickel. Um, we should easily get we iron. Silicon. We have silicon. We had like 400 silicon in the cargo container. And we just need some nickel. Silicon. That's a lot of silicon. That'll last a bit. Uh, um, detector components of silicon, uh, have nickel. Uh, motors have nickel. Okay. Grids have nickel. Have oh, sweet. Let's just 
deconstruct some grids. We have lots of grids. Yeah, good, good call. So I'll pull grids over. And I'll deconstruct my uh, uh, 30 grids here. Oh yeah, we got like 200 grids, dear god. Yeah, everything was made out of heavy armor. Yeah, de disassemble 50 grids. Hey, okay, that'll give us some materials now. Yeah, that's actually giving us a lot of nickel, okay. Yeah. Yeah, grids are Hybrid. expensive. So we can build what we need, but we just can't mine the materials. We just have to salvage it. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm guessing at some point we could just have like a giant uh, deconstruction setup and just literally just pile components into it, deconstruct it all, and just build what we need when we need it. Yeah, grinder pit plus uh, assembler set to deconstruct everything. Pass it into a thing that'll hold ingots. And we got some power cells coming in. So, what do we need? Nice! We'll just That's build a lot! Them. <laughs> yeah, so now we can get our, uh, our batteries and our engines done on the rover. Alright, let's see. And the engines kicked in to start fueling it up? I... You know, every time I ever use engines on my own series, they don't work the first time. They, they just, they're, they're broken, and I have to spend like 10 minutes troubleshooting, and then they finally work. <laughs> this, this one though? Immediately. They just work yep. immediately. This kicked, just kicked right into drive. No troubleshooting required. Uh, also, we got the perfect balance here, I believe. Uh, a, each O2 H2 generator outputs 100 liters of hydrogen per second, and each engine needs 50. So we have the perfect balance so that oh, wow. they are producing exactly as much as they're consuming. Wow, okay. Good to know. There's, it's like you that's planned the ratio. That. I I didn't uh <laughs> but that's good to know. Nice. I need a bit more Give me more power cells. Uh do you want your hydrogen uh tank back? No no, I got one. You're good. Okay. Thank you. How are we looking up here? More of these? Oh, okay. I see. We're just waiting for power cells. I'll tell you what, that rover is coming along. That thing looks cool. Yeah. Now we got two batteries. This, this thing will drive forever. Yeah, it will. I think what might be good is we could um, maybe leave the front as it is, but expand the back wheelbase by like block or two. Uh, yeah. You mean take both the wheels back or move the back uh, one wider? Further? Wider. Oh yeah, that'll that'll work. Yeah, take it like a block or two wider, and maybe even a block or two back. Just need and a uh, piston. That would uh, make the whole thing a little bit more stable. Yeah, piston and mag plate. We're good. And then the one last uh, block there. Nice, looking good. Oh, yeah, that looks much beefier now. <laughs> it is. Well, it grew. We had to grow the wheelbase. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I think this is good. Yeah. I think it uh, ran out of ice, though. Oh, I bet. Yep. If it's been charging these things the entire time. But it does have power. Let's see. Yeah. It's oh, got plenty yeah. of power. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just been a little weird. Yeah. No kidding. You didn't hit anything and it just jumped. Watch out for that pothole. I think. Yeah, the front do... likes to come off the ground, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the, we'll just do this. Ooh. Is it a weight distribution thing? 
Ah, it's probably just a steering issue. I gotta get the... The strength here correct. Oh, come on. Just soften up the suspension so it's always touching the ground. Yeah, the, the front wheels keep coming off. Well, it's a, there's a lot of weight in the back. Yeah. Well, we could try and stick some batteries in the floor of the uh, front. Mm -hmm. If we redesign the cockpit, we should do that. Stick the batteries all the way in the front, in the floor, and then have the seats above the batteries. Yeah. Just kind of even it out a little bit. Because I bet if we look at the weight distribution, it's just all on these back two wheels. Corporation yep. records indicate there is oh. a flight research station on Mars with technology blueprints you may find useful. Uploading coordinates to suit HUD. Oh, cool. Flight research station, 16 kilometers away. Fl I don't even see that. Oh, do you not? No, just... no. I, I, well, now I see the uranium ingot shipment. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll oh. put the, the GPS. Yeah, okay. I see that now. I was looking for red. Flight research station. Okay. That's kind of near where our new base is going to be. Oh, I think our base is like about, say, three or four kilometers from our current position. So it's uh, out on the plains. We'll have to go explore that plains. in the future. Yeah. Because I think it says flight research. If we go out there, we might be able to make uh, atmospheric engines and such. But what we could do is head back to the mine, do a little bit more salvaging, do get... Uh, f absolutely fill this thing with ice and then it can fully charge its batteries that's a good idea yeah and then okay. maybe uh, in the next time we can head off uh, to the flight research station and see what that's about and maybe get some atmospheric thrusters and start working our new base yes our new uh, flight base Mm-hmm. I plan to steal some technology over there. <laughs> but I think we made some good progress. And uh, that'll be it for this inaugural episode of us going on our adventures, all right? Yes, in this beautiful vehicle. All right, we'll get the spectator camera over here to get a nice shot of us standing on top of the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Making it even taller than it already is. <laughs> but that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>